Hello. Finally shaved and tied it up, rather than looking like a scruff bag. So another day where I need to check in and report that nothing has been done on the uh, crowdfunding, and I made very little progress on my uh, article that I'm writing. So that that's both rubbish. Um, it's frustrating because I don't even know. It's not like I sat around doing nothing all day yesterday. Um, just same thing again. Yesterday was Thursday, so Tuesday and Thursday are the two days that Leonardo is home all day. So there's just a lot more interruption, a lot more need for me to go downstairs and sit with him and uh, prepare food and be uh, yeah, be a father and stuff. So interruptions um, and. I did do a lot more sort of trading stuff again. I think a part, part of the reason I do that is because it's, it's easy, like as in, it's fun, it's sitting here, it's oh, something's going to happen, oh, it's going to make money. So it's a distraction itself. Um, it was also not good because, um, as you can see, the day went down, and as I said yesterday, I had reopened my longs. Um, it's so frustratingly, you know, watching the order book and... Um, it's actually, it's still confirming my general position. So we've moved down a bit. So this should be more exaggerated. So you can see clearly now at this half percent mark where 6,000 Bitcoins, half percent up to 4,000. You can sort of look at the intersection. You know, this is under the volume. This is under the volume. This is well under the volume. It's here. It's over. It's over. And this is well over. These little intersections and the grid line, and the grid lines. <coughs> so clearly, it still should be hard for it to move down and move up. Um, yesterday, it was like uh, they're roughly equivalent on these first three intersections. The harder was more down low, so it makes sense that we've moved down a little bit, and that difficulty is you know, pushed up against the resistance. So hopefully, um, uh, hopefully, like the hopefully the downward movement that we've seen is exhausting itself. Like it's it's struggling to make any headway and just running out of momentum and um, so we'll soon enough turn around. Now if it goes, I just added these, um, this, this ascending triangle via these red lines, so, yeah, it would actually be quite nice if it did just slowly make its way down and hit this line and then rebounded with some um, force. I'd be okay with that, that shouldn't hit any of my stop losses. Or cause me any trouble. Um, it's just frustrating to watch it slowly drag down and make my positions all look really more negative than they are. But um, that, if it went down to 7560, uh, where are we? 7630, that's $8, that's 1%. You know, if we move down 1%, you know, it's going to move through 12 and a half bitcoins. Um, Whatever, that doesn't really mean much. Not the other side. Where are we on the seven on the one hour? Five. Oh, one hour. Six, seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, the four hour could be. Could see it through to a nine. Eleven, twelve. 13 didn't really pan out. Anyway, um, so I'm just staying in my long positions now. I've, I've still got Ripple open as a short, um, and that's been working out for me, of course. Um, but that position was uh, in a negative balance when I opened it. How was that? Oh, wow. If you press up and down arrows, it changes the chart. It's trying to move this down a little bit. To make that eight arrow back there. Anyway, um, what do I have to say? Nothing. What's going on? Uh, not much. I got included. This art, uh, my last article got mentioned in um, journalism festivals. Weekly summary article that they do, which is cool. So I don't know if that's driven much traffic. I haven't actually looked at my stats for our meeting for a while. 
General of the Festival mentioned me in their story. My last article. I don't know this one. Solving misinformation for the public, not experts. Story stats. Publish this one, it should be good. 728 views. May, 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 May. Previous 30 days. I'm not sure any of my but there's, there's nothing better about my writing there. There's nothing particularly insightful there. But you give it a title, How to End Google's Monopoly, and everyone loves it. <laughs> um, this was frustrating as well. Um, um, no, it wasn't this one. This is the frustrating one. Um, that, I think, had a really powerful insight into it, was the fact that Facebook's flagging thing wasn't, the flagging was irrelevant, it's more just chairmanship. Um, they were just basically filtering out things that they you know, decided were fake news, and because they were the ones that decided which ones to send to the fake news, the fact-checking organisations, in the first place, um, and then they were the ones that decided which ones that came back false, that they would flag. Um, for all of the, Facebook doesn't want to play God in this, they would have a lot of control over it and that end action was basically filtering. It was just, instead of completely filtering it, they'd filter at an 80% um, punishment algorithmically. Basically, like I'm, I'm reading between the lines to reach that conclusion, but the evidence is pretty clear. And I think um, there should be more outrage over that and more people should understand the risks of that. And when I talk to people, they understand the risks of that. No one wants anyone like Facebook or Google to be filtering information on our behalf. No one ever understands the risk of it until it's in action. And it's like, oh, at least they're doing something. No, not at least. It's not good. So, um, and with the evidence that they're actually doing it, we should be outraged by that. But no one cares. No one liked that article. So, um, anyway. And then, you know, this this is what is, this is the thing. I, can, I didn't write that 34 minutes. I didn't write that to be a, a fun read. So it's not that surprising that it hasn't been popular. But that's the Socratic web. That is the solution to this problem. And of course, no one cares about that because they just want to talk about the problem. No one likes to deal with solutions, just problems. If you've got a solution, you're probably crazy because you can't solve it. There's a problem. Let's talk about the problem. Let's frame the problem. Let's look at the problem from a different angle. Problem, 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 problem. So what do you mean solution? We can't have solutions. We need problems. This is the world we live in. <laughs> solutions are something that suddenly fall out of the sky and then we forget that we had the problem. But when you're working on the solution to the problem, you're crazy. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, with more, more news, because today I have no distractions. I'm going to get this article written. I'm going to get work done. Um, I have no new to do jobs. Um, uh, the trade is just sitting there waiting for me to be right or to go down low enough that it hits my stop losses and completely screws me over. No, not completely. It's, it's again, it's an acceptable loss, but frustrating because I'm just sick of waiting for this to go up. I'd be very ready for this to just suddenly decide that's the bottom of the channel and we're done and we're going to go back up and we're going to break $12,000 and um, and that's enough. If, if it just did that, like even if we we're not going for the full ball run to break the new all-time highs, just going back up to over $12,000 and sort of invalidating the bear market and putting us maybe into that phase where it's just like up and down and all over the shop, that's better than, than this... Um, limbo that we're in where it's like we're in a bear market but we've set three higher lows so maybe we're not in the bear market and no one knows we're just in a triangle and if the triangle breaks it's going to drop us down to a thousand dollars or it's going to take us up to forty thousand dollars it's really like toss of the coin at this point and uh it'd be nice to sort of move on past that my sanity so see you tomorrow bye